intro music cue. <laughs> Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about hair care, and not just any hair care, my hair care. These are the products that I use, this is the routine that I do on a weekly and daily basis. So yeah, um, everybody's hair type is different, I'm not going to say that these will necessarily work for you, this is just what works for me. So I guess we should just start with my hair type. Um, I have pretty medium thick hair. Um, my hair itself... Like, I don't have that much of it. My ponytail is not that substantial. But the actual strands of my hair are pretty thick. Um, I don't have typical, like, Asian hair. When you think of Asian hair, you think of, like, glossy, silky, you know, straight, pin straight hair. And that's just not what I have. I have a lot of body and a lot of volume. And I think that was that's due to um, this one summer back in high school. I flat iron my hair literally every day for one summer and I just completely fried my hair so don't do that um, so ever since then it's just never really been the same um, my hair my hair is not color treated I did color it with like an at-home kit last year like the beginning of last year and it didn't really change the color of my hair and I think it's pretty much all grown up um, since then so yeah um, this is my hair just in its natural state it's just air dried I took a shower this morning and I put in a leave-in conditioner I didn't I didn't um, blow dry it I didn't um, flat iron it didn't curl it or anything so I just wanted you to see my hair in its most natural state it's still a little bit wet before I take a shower I feature this in one of my favorite my recent favorites videos before I take a shower I usually um, put in coconut oil over um, in my hair I do it maybe 15 to like an half an hour, an hour, however long before I shower. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I just soak some of this in my hair and um, soak it. That doesn't make any sense. I just put some of this in my hair and let it soak. Um, this is the 365 Whole Foods brand coconut oil. You want to get organi organic, <laughs> organic virgin coconut oil. This is what it looks like. It's been really humid in New York, so it kind of like melted. It's really liquidy right now, which is weird because it's usually like a white solid. So I just take some of it, I take a scoop of it and rub it in between my hands and it melts into an, an oil and then I apply that mostly to the ends of my hair. Sometimes I even put this in overnight if my hair is feeling especially dry. So that's one kind of leave-in treatment product that I use. I only wash my hair a, f a few times a week. I don't wash it every day because, you know, it's, as you know, it's bad. You want to build up the natural oils. Washing your hair every day will strip your hair of its natural oils and make it even drier. So, um, as far as sh shampoos and conditioners go, I'm not that particular as far as, you know, sulfate-free ones or paraben-free ones. Um, I just stick to whatever I'm feeling like using that day or that week. Um, I try to switch my shampoo and conditioner maybe every two weeks or so just to, you know, keep it fresh and then and so my hair doesn't kind of get immune to it. Um, so I switch, I switch back and forth to different drugstore products, d different drugstore shampoos and conditioners. Um, I've used everything from, you know, Garnier, Herbal Essences, um, John Frieda, what are some other ones? Just everything. I tried the whole sulfate route um, for a little bit of a stint, but um, I don't really care that much, honestly. It all does the same stuff for, for my hair. Cleans it. So right now I am using um, the Dove Nourishing Oil Care Shampoo Conditioner. Um, I really like this mostly for the way it smells and it makes my hair feel really soft afterwards. Um, I noticed that when I switch over to Dove, after using a different shampoo for a few weeks, my hair feels especially soft. After I take a shower, I use one of three leave-in products usually. Um, so the first one is my BioSilk Silk Therapy. This is like a serum, basically. It's um, really liquidy and it's like it kind of has like an oily consistency. Um, I love this stuff. It smells so good. It smells like like a really clean salon smell. And, um, you can find this at, you know, I think, like, Target and Walmart and drugstores, but it's pretty expensive. I think it's, like, 30 
some odd dollars for this humongous bottle. This is humongous because you only need a little bit. Um, you can even put this on after you style your hair just to, you know, make your ends look a little bit healthier. Oh, as far as price goes, that's what I wanted to mention. I actually got this at TJ Maxx. You can sometimes, if you're lucky, find this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And I got it for $19.99. So you can save a bit of money if you just try to look for it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Um, but I love this stuff. I've had this for, I think, maybe like a year, two years already. And I've only used up to there if you can see that so I absolutely love this stuff I can't see myself not having this if I'm not feeling like using bio silk I use my macadamia healing oil treatment I first got a sample of this and I really really liked it so I got the full-size bottle this is really pricey though I think it's around $30 I want to say I don't remember I had a coupon I had like a CVS rewards bucks thing so I got a little bit of a discount on it but um, I really like this it smells okay it's like a little bit like a musky smell to me um it smells a little like manly but um the product itself is great it's an oil so it makes your it really nourishes your hair it makes your feel hair feel really healthy and just not so dry and brittle okay so if i'm not feeling like using the bio silk the macadamia healing oil i like to use the it's a 10 miracle miracle leave-in product um, I got this at Target for, I think it was like $20 for this really small bottle. It's four fluid ounces, but I love this stuff. I've only heard about this through YouTube, but I don't think I would reach out for this. I mean, look at the packaging. It looks so cheap and like so dumb, right? It's $20 for this tiny little plastic spray bottle. But after I used it, I am a believer. I love this stuff. Um, it does 10 things. A lot of good things. Hair's dry, damaged hair adds shine, detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and this also acts as a flat iron spray and thermal protection. So this just does a lot in this. It just it does everything that you need in a hair product. It smells good. It smells. Let me smell it. I don't remember. It smells good. It smells like just a nice smelling shampoo. Like, I don't know how to describe, you know how to describe, like, Pantene products or, like, it's not fruity, it just smells like a good hair product. So, I really love this stuff, I highly recommend this. Oh, by the way, after I use one of these three products, I always use a wide tooth comb. You never want to use, um, one of those thin, like, rat tail combs, the really close together bristles. <laughs> I'm really bad at explaining stuff. But you always want to use a wide tooth comb so it prevents um, a lot of breakage. When oh my oh my gosh, there's spit on my camera. Sorry about that. I really love this um, deep repair mask. This is a treatment. It's not like an everyday product. I mean, you could use it as your conditioner every day. Um, every, not every day, every time you wash your hair. Um, but it is pricey. I mean, it's, it is a pretty substantial tub. Um, of product but this alone is like thirty dollars but I love this stuff I really can't I just don't think I can live without it I love it um, I remember the first time I used it I was like oh my gosh it, it seriously transforms the feel of your hair I love this stuff. I use it once a week twice a week whenever my hair is, just feels like it needs a little bit more moisture it doesn't I don't know why but I feel like all these products should have the same scent but this one smells really fruity and really nice, and I love it. The product itself is just a thick white cream. This is a new one I just got. Um, it's just like a thick off-white cream. And I love the smell of this. It kind of smells like herbal essences, like that kind of really fruity, nice scent. But I don't find that it, like the scent lingers in your hair. One kind of hair product that I've been really curious about, and I've been trying to venture into and discover new products are hair glazes. Um, I don't really hear a lot of talk about hair glazes on YouTube, maybe because it's like a new thing, but um, at home hair glazes, um, I don't know, they really appeal to me because at salons, hair glazes are pretty expensive and I'm really glad the companies are coming out with at home hair glazes. So I've so far tried out two hair glazes. One is by John Frieda, and it's the Clear Shine Luminous Glaze. It just looks like this. Comes in a 
cylinder bottle. So the way you use this is you can either use it as a daily treatment or a weekly treatment. So you use this just like you use, let's say, the macadamia deep repair mask. You shampoo and condition your hair, squeeze out the water. Um, while you're still in the shower, you smooth this all over your wet hair. And then you leave it in for at least three minutes. Three I also minutes. have this one by Oscar Blondie. And it's called the At Home Salon Glaze. And this works in a very similar sense. Um, you shampoo condition your hair, you towel dry it, and then you apply this from your roots to your ends, comb through, leave it in for one to three minutes, and rinse. You could also use this um, in your conditioner. You can kind of squeeze out a little bit in your in your conditioner, mix it together, and use it with your conditioner. The bad thing about these two is that they both have like a really chemically smell, like it's not a very pleasant experience in the shower, it just, it makes your hair feel kind of like sticky and like there's a layer of some kind of product on your hair, um, but the end result is pretty nice. It These are more geared towards not really the health of your, your hair, but the shininess of your hair. Now, as far as dry shampoos go, I was never a dry shampoo person, like I just never really thought that they worked that all that well, and I was just always afraid of having that like gray tinge in your hair, um, that like gray tint that it leaves in your roots, because um, that's just not a good look. This one's by Suave, it smells alright, kind of smells like rubber balloons, I don't know, it's a weird smell, um, it smells kind of chemically, but... Um, I really like this for the price. I think it's like two, three dollars or something. And it doesn't leave that like gray tint in your hair. And I find that this really does kind of soak up the oils in your hair if your hair is feeling a little stinky and like greasy that day. Um, so yeah, Suave Keratin Infusion. Or I use the Dove um, Invigorating Dry Shampoo. I love this stuff. Um, it smells... The smell is to die for. I love Dove Pro, so it doesn't leave a gray tint in your hair. I just mostly like this for the way that it smells, honestly. Um, and it just really refreshes your hair. I, I've been really into dry shampoos lately. Alright, so that concludes my hair care video. I've been really trying to improve the overall health and shininess of my hair, so that's why I've been kind of like a hair product junkie. Um, anyway, I hope you'll check out some of these products because I think they're definitely worth trying and I stand by them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.